Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day on this beautiful and amazing Wednesday. I hope that you are having a great, great day. I hope that you are getting ready for the weekend. I hope that you are enjoying fall. That Halloween is almost here. I girl, I hope that you are enjoying everything. All right, guys. So I have some cold, cold iced tea coming from the cold mountains of Salt Lake City. So yesterday was the latest episode of Soul, of the Real Housewife of Salt Lake City, and people are destroying Monica Garcia. Okay, this girl. I don't know who made the decision to bring that this girl to this show because that person needs to be fired as well. Okay, like I can't. I can is is the thirstiness. It's giving me the desperation. It's giving like like I don't know what to do with my life. It's giving the lies, the lies, the lies. Okay, this Monica girl, she has been doing the most, and the disrespect, the way that she treated her own mother. What are we going to be expecting from a girl who treats her own mother like this on camera? No, no, no. Okay. And let's be very honest. A mother can say whatever they want to their kids, you know, to their daughters and their sons. And you respect them for it, right? It is what it is. Especially if you are Latina, as she says she is Latina, then respect your mother, right? Do not do the little show over here, but it goes beyond that. So um, after the show, she was on Watch What Happens Live. Girl, to tell you that not even Andy Cohen was believing her lies, it's, you know, an understatement. Like, they asked her about, you know, how she feel about bringing all those gay rumors about Angie Katzeneva's husband and all of that. Girl, instead of apologizing, instead of saying, like, you know what? That was just a horrible rumor. I should have never repeated it. I'm so sorry. I mean, no. She doubled down. She doubled down on the rumors. She said that she had heard every word of the rumors, that everyone in the Salt Lake City streets are talking about it. Girl, I don't know what streets are you living in, because on the real streets of Salt Lake City... That's not a thing, okay? Um, well, I'm very happy to see that the fans are finally seeing who this girl really is. Because I have been telling you this since episode one. This Monica girl is a fraud. She's a liar and a fraud, okay? Um, bringing these disgusting rumors on camera. And having no disregard on another family, on kids, on no one, is the most disgusting thing that I have seen in a very long time. The thirstiness is so real that it just blows my mind, okay? This girl, honestly, she needs a reality check ASAP. She needs to leave, okay? So, um, Angie was furious. Lisa Barlow was furious. Whitney Rose was furious. Even Marilyn Marks made some comments on X. Everyone was kind of like, what the F is this girl doing? You know, no one was talking about these rumors. I did an exclusive. I think it was last week. I don't know if you saw it or not. But I talked with several people on the Salt Lake City streets, and everyone confirmed me that Meredith Marks never saw, I mean, I'm sorry, never said the rumor. She never said gay rumors about Angie Katzeneva's husband. The only thing that she said was, I know things, which is still a shitty thing to say, don't get me wrong, but she never said the rumors, and she never even, of course, never said it on camera. So why is Monica having the nerve to say those words on camera? But again, what can you expect from someone 
who treats her mother like shit on camera and who glows not once but twice already about having an affair with her brother-in-law and destroy the family basically and well being excommunicated but no one really cares about the church so you know what i mean it's like what do you expect from someone who has those values i have to tell you this is girl has been one of the biggest disappointments probably since diana jenkins you know like horrible 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 casting decisions and you want to talk about rumors you want to talk about rumors let's talk about the fact that she allegedly changed her last name to garcia just to appear more latina and to be cast on the show because they were looking for a specific type to be cast let's talk about that you know let's talk about her real last name how she has changed her last name like four times like to i think one of them is daniels and there is another one let me see if i can find it over here um very quickly let me do a search because i have um uh delgado and uh wesley and fuller and i mean she has have i don't know how many last names now what's interesting and this is another piece of tea guys is that apparently she's gonna be crying i don't know if this is gonna be later on the show or if she's gonna be doing that on herself but apparently she's gonna be trying to put out there that she changed her last name because she was a victim of domestic violence poor poor monica and you know what if you change your name because you're being a victim of domestic violence i'm thinking that that it's a very very bad situation so why are you still speaking with your ex then hmm? why are you still speaking with your ex then okay okay you know you know who changed their last name a lot of times people who are committing frad allegedly you know so let's talk about these rumors okay before bringing other families let's let's bring your own skeletons out there horrible 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 person i was so wrong about her i wanted to give it a chance because she was supposed to be a latina she was supposed to be colombian i am colombian i'm actually colombian you know i was born and raised in colombian and i thought that she was going to be a good representation she is not so please everyone out there don't believe that colombians are like her because we are not i don't even think that she's colombian to be very honest so girl leave that mess out there so let me know what you guys think on the comments below about all of this and i'm so happy that people are finally seeing this the comments on x and instagram destroying her they are seeing her through her bullshit so let me know what you guys think on the comments below and if you want to get all the tea related to the real houses of salt lake city or any of the other bravo shows make sure to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you around see ya bye